All right, so files encoding. The default character set encoding to use when reading and writing files. The setting can also be configured for a language. And um, so the question here is in what, um, in, with what encoding should you save your files in? And the answer is UT, UTF-8. This is the most common character encoding that you have um, everywhere, right? So um, UTF-8 means that it's a UTF character encoding with eight bits, right? So which means that each character takes up eight bits in memory, right? So one byte in memory. If you have, for example, uh, UTF-16, that means that each character will actually have Wait, isn't it UTF-16? Oh, it's B E or L E, right? Um, so if you choose one of these, um, each byte will actually—I mean, I'm sorry—each character will actually take two bytes, right? Sixteen bits, and obviously that kind of makes your files be twice as big unnecessarily. So UTF-8 is perfectly fine. It's the most used character encoding in the world. It's good for most of the things that you're going to do, unless you're uh, obviously working with other character encodings from other languages, like Japanese, Korean, Greek, Russian, and stuff like that. Uh, but for most use cases, UTF-8 is perfectly fine. And it's just one byte per character, which means you need to transfer less stuff if you're a web developer, you need to transfer less bytes to your client for the same amount of information. So yeah, UTF-8 all the way.